Hey, my name is Austin, and if you're watching this video, you might have a question about what your blood sugar level should look like. I got you. Whether you measure your blood sugar fasted, post-meal, or at any random point throughout the day, your glucose levels tell a story about your current level of health. If you want to have the most complete picture of your blood sugar levels, you're going to want to know your fasting blood glucose, your baseline blood glucose, your post-meal blood glucose, and your average glucose over a 24-hour period. To help you better understand what your blood sugar levels should look like, Levels explored a plethora of research literature to understand what's normal for a healthy, non-diabetic individual. Okay, you're ready to brace yourselves. It's a lot of numbers coming your way. After gaining more clarity on normal trends, levels can suggest that a healthy, non-diabetic individual can expect fasting blood glucose between 80 and 86 milligrams per deciliter, glucose levels between 70 and 120 milligrams per deciliter for 90% of the day, a 24-hour average glucose between 89 and 104 milligrams per deciliter, average daytime glucose of 83 to 106 milligrams per deciliter, average nighttime glucose of 81 to 102 milligrams per deciliter, and the timing of a peak after a meal should be anywhere between 46 minutes to one hour. Now, these aren't recommendations, but more so a guide for what has been observed in normal non-diabetic individuals. That being said, it's important to distinguish between what's normal and what's optimal. For example, many research studies have concluded that a post-meal glucose spike under 140 milligrams per deciliter is normal. While that number represents an upper limit of what's normal, it may not indicate what will serve you best from a health perspective. To further illustrate the difference between normal and optimal, research shows that there's an increased risk of health problems as fasting glucose continues to rise, even if it stays within normal range. So although optimal glucose levels aren't definitively established, we should all certainly be striving for the lower end of what's normal if good metabolic health continues to be a priority for us. So you just heard me say optimal six times in the past 60 seconds. What exactly is considered to be optimal? Levels proposes that optimal glucose ranges looks like a fasting glucose of 72 to 85 milligrams per deciliter, baseline glucose of 72 to 90 milligrams per deciliter, a post-meal glucose peak of less than 110 milligrams per deciliter, a post-meal increase of less than 30 milligrams per deciliter, and an average 24-hour glucose of 79 to 100 milligrams per deciliter. So if your last doctor's visit indicated that your glucose levels are within normal range, Congratulations. Now, I challenge you to ask yourself if your glucose levels are in optimal range. Your optimal glucose levels depend on several individual factors and setting these ranges should include a conversation with your healthcare provider. Regardless of what optimal looks like for you, a personalized diet and lifestyle plan that promotes metabolic health should accomplish three main goals. The first is minimizing post-meal glucose levels. My favorite way to do that is eating protein and fat prior to consuming carbohydrates. Number two, keep glucose levels as stable as possible throughout the day. Doing things like going for a walk after your meal and spacing your meals out throughout the day are strong contributing factors to stable blood glucose. Lastly, try to keep fasting glucose in the low end of the normal range. Avoiding late night glucose excursions has been the most helpful thing for me when it comes to lowering my fasting blood sugar. All that being said, figuring out which diet and lifestyle allows you to achieve these goals requires a healthy amount of trial and error because let's face it, there's no one size fits all approach. Using tools like continuous glucose monitoring can help you establish your optimal diet by providing you a continuous feedback loop that allows you to make frequent adjustments in your pursuit of optimal metabolic health. Thanks for watching.